In this video, I will show you how to use z-scores to find the percentage of data below a certain value. In the United States, females' heights have a mean of 63.7 inches and a standard deviation of 2.7 inches. What percent of women are shorter than 66 inches? So I recommend organizing your work this way. We're going to do two diagrams. We're going to do some calculations here and we'll put our final answer over here. So on this normal distribution or bell curve, the line right down the middle represents the mean. Um, so on the left side we'll go ahead and do inches. So the mean is 63.7 inches so that should go right here Um, they also tell us, well, they're asking what percent of women are shorter than 66 inches. So 66 inches is greater than the mean, so I'm going to put that over here on the right. So this will represent 66 inches. And we want to know what percent of women are shorter than this. So in other words, we want to know to the left of 66 on this graph, right? What percentage of women fall into this zone? Now we can use a z-score table to help us. So you're going to need one of these, so if you don't have one, Google this and get yourself one. Now a z-score table shows us the percentage of uh, z-scores to the left of any given z-score. So right now we have inches, but what we need are z-scores. So that's what we're going to put on this diagram to the right will be z-scores. The, me the mean z-score is always zero. So we, we need a z-score for this 66. All right, I'll go ahead and put a line over here, but um, we need to convert this to a z-score. And the way you convert something to a z-score is you use this formula. The z-score is going to be any value minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. So in this case, the value that we need to convert is 66 inches. The mean was 63.7, and the standard deviation is 2.7. All right, so let's take a look at that. And so this will be our z-score. Now we need to round this to two decimal places, so I want to really cut this off here. Now we'll have to be very careful. Uh, rounding is very important. So looking at the next number over, if that is greater than, if it's five or greater, then we need to round this one up. Um, but since this is a one, we do not need to round this up. So we will just stick with um, 0 0.85. All right, so we have this z-score of 0 0.85, so I'll go ahead and put that on my diagram. And um, we're going to now use the z-score table to figure out what percentage of z-scores are to the left of here. And then that should match the percentage of heights less than 66 inches. So keep this 0 0.85 in mind as we go over to the z-score table. So here are the z-scores on the left. We need to find 0 0.85. So we'll start with finding 0 0.8. Okay, so here <clears throat> is 0 0.8 right here. Now, these numbers will represent 
um, the other decimal point. <clears throat> so this would be 0 0.80, 0 0.81, 0 0.823, 4, et cetera. So we wanted 0 0.85. So that means we want this column right here. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this represents the percentage of z-scores to the left of this z-score. So as a percent, this would be 80.23 percent. Okay, so we will say the percentage of z-scores to the left of 0 0.85 is equal to 80.23%. So that tells us that this is 80.23%. All right, this yellow area. So that should match what's going on over here. This will also be 80.23%. So that means we're ready to answer the question. And so we'll write our answer at, in a complete sentence right here. 80.23% of women have heights less than, well, I'll just say are shorter than 66 inches. And that's it.